Hello everyone, I'm Misov and this is problem E, dead end detector. In this problem, the contestants are given a map of a road network and their, their task is to detect all of the dead ends and to place the street signs. So the definition of a dead end is that it is a beginning of a street such that if you drive along the street, you cannot get back without making a U-turn somewhere. And so the task is to detect the beginnings of, of all of these dead ends and to place the signs. And additionally, the number of signs placed has to be minimized. So formally what this means is that if you are driving, it should never happen to you that you encounter a dead end sign and later you encounter another one. So this is clearly a graph theory problem and it has something to do with trees and cycles because if you have a cycle somewhere you cannot have a dead end because you can always drive to the cycle, drive around it and then leave in the opposite direction. On the other hand, if you enter some part of the graph that is a tree, then definitely this was a dead end and you will have to make a U-turn. So essentially the task is about detecting these trees that are at this, on the side of the given graph. So how can we solve such a task? First of all, we take the graph, we break it into connected components. And now there are two possible cases. One case is when we get a connected component like this one, that is a tree. What do we see here? If, we, if a car starts in a leaf, it's immediately entering something that is a dead end. So it is forced that we have to place the dead end signs next to each of the leaves. And we can easily verify that this is sufficient. So this is how we solve a tree. And if the component is not a tree, what we can do, the easiest solution probably, is to start from the leaves. So as long as you have a vertex of degree one, you remove it, you do this iteratively. So removing some of the leaves may create new leaves in the graph. You remove those as well. And as soon as you run out of leaves, it's very easy to show that the parts you have removed are precisely the parts of the graph that form the dead ends. And in order to place the signs, all you have to do is to take all of the edges that start in a vertex you did not remove and in a vertex you did remove and place the sign there. So that's the entire solution.